heaven when you come to the house of the Lord. God's going to use the babies. Yeah, the rocks will cry out. Master Teacher Pamela Buzzer. Thank you. 
Lord. We're fighting. We're soldiers. We're on the battlefield for the Lord. We don't take breaks and we can't sit aside and all that, but we are soldiers in the Lord's army. Let's receive our bishop at this side by saying amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise in this place. Come on, you can give the Lord some praise. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Come on, come on, give the Lord some praise. Oh. Anybody's been delivered this week, slip your hands and say thank you. 
Come on, your family as well. Say thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm just grateful unto the Lord. Thank God for the service today. Before I came out, y'all were shouting and praising God. Come on, the goodness of the Lord, his greatness, his mercy. Thank God for Jesus on today. We're so happy today to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for our pastor all the way from Florida came to Chicago. Come on, bless the Lord for Pastor Ridley, Jocelyn Ridley. Evangelist Ridley is in the house. Evangelist, amen. Jamani, come on, somebody give the Lord some praise. And I'm grateful unto the Lord. We don't, listen, we have an awesome speaker on today. None other than our own national evangelist, Mother Nettie Guy. But before she comes, I'm going to, somebody go grab Jamani real quickly. I want a solo from her. Come on, somebody say amen. She can watch this when she get back home. Come on, somebody. I don't think she's ever been on our Facebook Live and YouTube. Come on, if she could just give me a quick solo. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for none other than our own. Our own. Come on, bring her over, bring her over, bring her over. Bring her over. She can go back home and tell her friends that she was on the air. Yeah. Amen. Her friend down in Florida would love to see this. Sing a song for your people down there in Florida. Will you do that for us? Yes, sir. Amen. Sing for us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Facebook family, I love you all very much. This is, this is a, um, this is an honor to stand before the people of God because I have been through a lot of things in my life and I know God is working it out for me. I told my mom, I said, Mom, I didn't want to pull, I didn't want it to so embarrass her because I didn't want to go. But you know what? God told me to go anyway because I wanted the world to know that God is alive in my house. That God is still real today. That God is everything to me. But I do want to sing a song that I love very much. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On your love. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting.
bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody say, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on. Oh. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. waiting. Don't mind waiting on the Lord. Come on, bless the name of the Lord for our bad. Jamani Ridley, all the way from Orlando, Florida. Put your hands together and give the Lord some praise. Come on, give the Lord some praise. We are blessed of the Lord, highly favored. Thank God. Wait a minute, let me say this. Did you all enjoy that youth choir today? Come on, come on, give it to them, y'all. The youth of Nazarene, all nations. They did their thing, y'all. And the Holy Ghost came in. Hallelujah. That's what you get happens when you give God a perfected praise. Woo, glory be to God. Thank God, Evangelist Pachette. Come on, put your hands together for, amen. We're grateful unto the Lord. This is Women in History Month. We're celebrating, and we thank God for the greatness of our women in Nazarene All Nations Church. Come on, put your hands together for them. Thank God. Amen. Is that our own brother Barry Brewers in the house? Give the Lord some praise for him. Come on, give the Lord some praise for none other than our own. Chicago's own. Nazarene all nations own. Mr. Barry Brewer. Hallelujah. God bless you, Barry. Thank you for being here with us. Amen. Hollywood ain't got all the great ones. Come on, we got some right here at Nazarene All Nations. Listen, ladies, y'all get yourself together because he's going to be our entertainment for Mother's Day. We're going to bless the mothers of Nazarene All Nations Church. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Bless you, man. We're grateful unto the Lord. At this time, we celebrate the women of Nazarene. And I'm grateful unto the Lord for we have some of the awesomest women in our church in this in this world we want to thank god for our women men stand up on your feet because we thanking god i thank god for the woman in my life number one and numero uno my own wife lady Rhonda butler come on put your hands together but everybody stand up on your feet and let's receive the ministry the anointed ministry from none other than our own Evangelist, National Evangelist, Lady God. Amen. Come on, put them hands together. And praise him. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. I want you all just to grab somebody by the hand. And the Bible said, man, ought to always pray. Not faint. Amen. And we need prayer. Because prayer changes things in our lives, in our homes, in our marriages, in our children. Hello, somebody. In the ministry. Amen. I just want you to pray for that person that you hold in hands. You never know what a person is going through. In the name of Jesus. Just begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. That name that's above every name. The name that Casts out all demons. The name that casts a bow down. All diseases bow down to that name. Father, we coming in that name. Somebody needs you up in here. 
somebody going through up in here. In the name of Jesus. And we know ain't nothing too hard for you. Ain't no battle that you ever lost. And we calling on that name. Hallelujah. Somebody's child is in trouble up in here. Head of the boards here. Somebody feel like giving up up in here. Somebody went through last night with demons. Hallelujah. He called on the But oh God, we don't know no other name to call. We calling on you. Somebody's body is in pain. Hey, little boss here. Somebody got a bad report from the doctor. But when we call on that name, every demon and every devil got to come subject to the name of Jesus. Demons tremble. Hey, shall at that name. You know, God, we ask you, we ask you to touch us today. Revive us, restore us today. Heal us today and we shall be healed. Deliver us and we shall be delivered. In the name of Jesus. The devil told somebody that you're not going to make it. God said you're going to make it. Let that devil know he's a liar. God got the last say so. And whatever God said, hallelujah, it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, I speak it right now. I speak it that is done. It's done already. Now, if you believe it, just start praising God. Yes, hallelujah. In the most here. Hey, glory. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Been sitting on you long enough. It's time for him to go. In the name of Jesus. I declare it, I speak it, and it's done by the power of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. That thing is done. I don't care how you feel, it's done. I don't care what the devil said, it's done. Hallelujah. Honey, I shout for your head. Glory be to God. God cannot lie. Whatever God said, it's going to happen. Yes, Glory be to God. Amen. You may be seated. God is tired of us coming. Coming to church depressed and oppressed. Hello, somebody. Devil telling you you ain't gonna make it and you ain't gonna live. Come on, y'all. How many know the Bible says all oh, sickness is not unto death? Hallelujah. God got some of us around here because He want to show His power. Hallelujah. Above all that the doctors have said, amen. God want to show his power to let the doctor even know that he is God. I ain't got no help up in here today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Stop being sad every time the doctor tell you something. Amen. What you saying? What you saying, Holy Ghost? Whose report do you believe? Did I hear that? I said, did I hear that? Yeah. Amen. Whose report do you believe? Yeah. I believe the report of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
I believe the report of the Lord by his stripes. I am healed. Hallelujah. Honey, don't y'all feel good? <laughs> Amen. I tell you, God started in these children. I, I, now I've heard them sing before, but I've never heard them sing like they did this morning. Amen. Seemed like that girl, amen, praise God, had an extra touch. Come on, somebody. Amen, amen. And, 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 and you know they was, they, 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 was on, they was in tune and in harmony. Huh? Honey, they hit a note I couldn't even hit. Come on, somebody. Amen. God blessed in this, the women's workers choir at Amen. The anointing was just all over the place. Amen. When the anointing is here, it's best to get in. You understand. Get in the spirit. Don't stop looking around and see who's going to shout first. Amen. Honey, you just get yours in. Because, see, we're living in a time now you got to go for yourself. Hello, somebody. Amen. We thank God for our bishop. Come on, y'all. Now, somebody might not have heard me. I'm going to say it one more time. We thank God for our bishop and his wife. Evangelist Ridley and her daughter from huh? from Florida, amen, Minister TJ and his mom, all the ministers, Deacon Steve, amen, how the Lord used him on this morning, Minister Bland and his wife. Pastor Sal and his wife, Minister Woods and his wife, Minister Johnny May, Minister Michelle, Evangelist Simon, none other than Mother Hill. <laughs> now, let me see, did I miss anybody? Amen. But if I did, y'all bring it to my attention. Amen. I'm sorry, Lord, sitting right here in my face. Amen. Pastor Sue, amen. Come on, let's thank God for it. Amen. Brother Tim, amen. Praise God. Brother Ricardo, and to all the saints of God, we thank God for your Mother Mahaffey, amen. Thank God for you, amen. To our musicians. Sister Dr. Mahathy, amen, praise God. To my brother back here, I can't think of your name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for what he's doing. How many was here in Sabbath school this morning? Amen. So beautiful teaching. Amen. Praise God. And, and I thank God. You know, he taught me some sense because uh, uh, I'm talking about over, over here at the Nazarene and somebody asked me what now. I'll be dumbfounded. Amen. But the bishop brought out what a Nazarene is and what they do. Ain't that a blessing? Amen. Because you bet it's bad to be into something and don't know what it's about. Hello, somebody. I'm just going to tell off on myself because I don't mind telling off on myself because I'm not going to get in trouble. 
Amen. But it's a blessing. Amen. Come here, baby. Get these glasses. It's a bl blessing. Thank you. Young people, some of us ain't the young. <laughs> I'm really glad for the young folks. Amen. 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 We just thank God. Amen. For this church. Amen. And for the leading of the Spirit of God. Amen. Praise God. And now he led us over here. Amen. To be a man with Bishop Butler. Amen. Praise God. And that's a blessing. We could have went other places. Don't think we that I didn't have nowhere else to go now. And I had many doors open. But God chose this place. Amen. And this is where I came. Amen. And I'm happy to be here. Enjoying my trip. Amen. We're going to talk today about some things that God hates. I said some things that God hate. H-A-T-E. We're going to go to the book of Proverbs. I know a lot of you all know where I'm going. Proverbs 6 and 16. Just going to talk a little bit. Amen. About some things that God hates. And if God hated, we should hate it. Amen. If God hated, we shouldn't want it and allow it to be in us. Can I get a witness? When you have it, say amen. Someone read that. If God hated, I don't want it in me. These six things God hate. Yay! Seven are an abomination unto him. Now, that's enough to get happy about. Can you name one preacher? Uh-oh. A proud look. Sit down for a minute, sugar. I'm getting ready to work a little while. <laughs> See, they thought I was, <laughs> I was going to skip over that. Proud look. Look at somebody and say, I don't want that in me. All of a sudden, you done got proud. Started off with nothing. Can I work here a little bit? See, God used me in a peculiar way. Started off with nothing. Used to stay in a little old raggedy shack. Can I talk to you, sugar? Because <laughs> the others, they don't want it. Started off in a little old raggedy shack, huh? Mice running all over the place, roaches. Hmm? But oh, but look at me now. Uh, I done moved to the suburbs. Got a house now. Oh, I'm coming home down up in here, y'all. Hmm? Got a garage now. Huh? Not only one car garage, I got two car garage. I can park my Mercedes here and my Cadillac over here. So see, now, you know, I don't want to be bothered with you. I done graduated now. 
Right now I'm up with the big dogs. Hmm? I got time for y'all little folks. Oh, I'm going to preach up in here, y'all. <laughs> y'all might as well turn your squeezers off and loose me. I'm coming in power and demonstration. Too good now. I won't be bothered with you. Huh? I don't change. I, got the, I don't wear the clothes I used to wear. I don't go to thrift store no more, honey. I, I'm at Macy's now. I'm at Marshall Fields now. So see, I ain't got time, you know. I'm, even my walk done changed. I used to come in all drugged down. Honey, my walk done changed. I done straightened up because I'm somebody now. God said he hated. God, I don't care if he blesses us with millions. He don't want us to get a proud spirit. Like we so superior over others. Huh? And I'm going to tell you something. Don't let these degrees move you out of God. You know, I'm a doctor. They just, what, what, what did you call me, honey? I'm doctor now. You don't call me by my name, no TJ. I'm a doctor. Hmm? I ain't got no help in the degree department. Oh, a lot of folks don't let these degrees move them away from God. Why? Because I, 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 I got puffed up with my degree. What is it with your degree and you ain't got no anointing? Your degree don't mean nothing. Sitting up here with all these PhDs and BADs behind your name and can't cast out a devil. Alvin, 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 will you help me? Will you help me? Just give me a little do do <laughs> I'm, I'm demonstrating pride. Come on. God don't want you to let your degrees move you away from him. Hmm? Come on. Honey, if I just got to the fourth grade and if God have given me anointing, it's fine with me, honey. I ain't worried about using these big words. And can't cast out a headache. <laughs> Preach black woman. <laughs> oh, y'all can drop your heads and won't you? You know I got the gift of the sermon. I know who, I know who, <laughs> y'all ain't said that. God trying to help us. He trying to help us. Why? Because it's going on in the churches. Everywhere. Come on. If you don't call them titles, amen, you might as well leave them folks alone. Because they're going to let you know. <laughs> no, I'm so and so. But God said he hated. Come on. We started off at McDonald's and now we over here at UPS. So now we got, we done changed. God said he hated. Hmm? Come on, y'all. We shame now. We shame to tell the people where we used to work. We shame to tell folks now where we used to live. I used to stay in Cabrini, Cabrini Green. We, we, shame, we shame to tell the folks. Why? Because we done got lifted up in pride. God said, hey amen, I read in this book, he said, I resist the pride and give grace to the sweet little humble folks. Then Proverbs, amen, praise God, amen, said, amen, praise God, pride come before destruction, Holy Spirit before fall. We better get rid of this pride. 
Some of us even sing with pride. And you better not miss a note. Come on. God want us to get rid of this pride so he can use us. I don't mind saying this and that and look yonder. I ain't got no help. I ain't got no help. Yonder's in the Bible. Hello? But we got to pronounce all these old big words. Don't nobody know what you're talking about. Come on. Just be yourself. Talk and, and preach and teach where folks can understand you. Know what you're talking about. Don't take me there if I'm not there. Stay down here on my level. Just talk plain. Repent. You're going to hell. I understand that. I got no help around here. Come on. That ain't broken English. That's plain English. A fool can understand that. Got to take all this, and oh, but that gonna make me a preacher because I know all this old philosophy and all, all these old big words, and don't nobody know nothing what you're talking about. No anointing nowhere. Come on, somebody. Let's suppose oh, that stand flat and say, look, God is a healer. God is a way maker. God is a deliverer. Hallelujah. God is a savior. I can understand that. Get rid of this pride. Hmm? Get rid of tell the devil, no devil. Mm -mm, you ain't going to have me sitting up here full of pride. And I ain't got no a teaspoon of anointing. Come on. I'm getting rid of you, devil. That's how I talk to the devil. I said, no, devil. Come on. Sometimes I put on my clothes. He said, girl, you got it. I said, you're lying one day. <laughs> I'm still old. I ain't got no help. <laughs> I ain't got no help here. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. What the next one said, preacher? A lying tongue. A lying tongue. Y'all know saints don't lie. Revelation 21 and 8, what it says, says all liars. It's going to have a part in the lake. Now, it's income tax time. Y'all know you, you all know y'all ain't got all them children. <laughs> y'all done throw your mama in there. Y'all know your mama don't stay with you. Got, got nephews, children, and come on. Y'all better stop. Don't, don't, don't tell no lie on them. Because I'm going to tell you something. IRS done got a little more smarter. So don't even try. Don't, don't do it. Just be truthful. And what God got for you, he going to give it to you. You don't have to lie. Come on. Oh, it's in the house. Amen. And if you done done it, go back and say, look, miss, please. Say, God convicted my heart. I, I ain't got all them children. Come on. We got to stay in the will of God so we can get a prayer through when we pray. Come on. I don't want nobody around here laying hands on me and not sit up here and lie on them and then contact. Come on here. Where you think your prayer going? That's why David says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, God won't hear me. When I lay hands, I want to lay clean hands. So they can come back with a praise report. I was sick of cancer, but when you laid hands, God healed my body. My children was on drugs, but oh, when you prayed, I declare that boy came in and threw the drug in the toilet. I'm talking about 
my clean hands, honey. Right here, land hands. Make sure your hands are clean. You know you ain't living right. Keep your hands to yourself. Come on. That's why the Bible says, says lay hands sudden on no man. Come on, we got to be right, y'all. That's the only way he going to work. If we ain't right and living right, God ain't stunning us. We got to repent, get back in the wheel. You can't just go out there and do anything, come back, jump back, amen, talking about you want to lead prayer. No, you got to come to this altar and get down on them old prayer bones. And call on the name of Jesus. We got this thing backwards. No, I go out, do my thing, and come right back in and jump right back on whatever I, whatever I was doing. No, it don't work that way. You got to come and repent. Get back. Tell God you're sorry. Tell God to forgive you. And mean it from your heart. Come on, y'all. We got to get right. We sing a song. Get right, church. Let's go home. Church got to get right. And we'll see. Uh, I don't see, the, I don't see, you know, how it used to be. I don't see nothing going on now. I don't see nothing happening in the Holy Ghost. Hey, Amen. You get right, you'll see it. We start getting all this old unforgiveness out of our hearts. Start back loving one another. Huh? Helping one another. Don't have no respect of persons. Come on, y'all. Some of us got certain folks that we love and some we don't. Well, I go over here. I speak the, I speak the deep. <laughs> you know, I ain't too, too, too hot on, on Sister Rhonda, you know. I say, hi, buddy. Hugging in a can on. And she said, no, that's just looking. You think God pleased with that? You think God going to come through here, and, you know, and turn us upside down? Come on. We got to be right. We got to keep these old hearts right. Come on. Amen. He said, ain't nothing but the pure in heart going to see God. You got to make sure and very sure ain't nothing in your heart against nobody. Come on. And we all up in here, we're supposed to have good sense. You know when some amen, praise God, is, 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 is when, you, when you see me and some rise up in your heart. You ain't crazy. Come on, y'all ain't talking. Huh? You know when you feel something, amen, that ain't, ain't right? Come on, y'all. Just come, amen, praise God. Just be real with God. Lord, you know the devil is, 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 is trying to get me against Sister, Sister Bland. Don't want me to love her, and I know that ain't right, and I can't make it in if I don't love Sister Bland. I want you to take this out of my heart because when I hug her, I want to hug her with the love of God in my heart. I don't want to give him one of them old Judas hugs. Yeah, Amen. I want to give her a real hug. That she can feel the love of God coming from her heart. Everybody in here, amen, praise God, ain't crazy, y'all. They know when you don't like them. Because some of y'all show it. Amen. Some of them show it. They step on your toe and won't say nothing. Come on, y'all. We got to stay pure and right in the sight of God. We can't be lying to one another. Hmm? Sister, I'm going to help you. Yeah, right. Sister, I'm going to call you. Yeah. Right. Come on. 
When we don't do something that we said we're going to do, we're supposed to repent. And say, forgive me. Hmm? Sometimes it's better not to say nothing than to lie. Come on. Did you pay your tithes last week? Yeah, I paid the pastor. Didn't you see it? You know you ain't paid zero. Come on. We got to stay real with God. We can't lie to one another. Because God sees the heart. He knows all things. That's why I keep it real with God. I talk to him just like I'm talking to you. Lord, I don't feel too good today. I ain't good to be around. I ain't got no help. Can I, can I keep it real? <laughs> I said, I ain't good to be around today. Don't let nobody call. <laughs> Hallelujah. God honors. He, he honors you when you're real, amen, rather than you're telling a lie. Come on. We got to keep it real. Don't lie to one another. Amen. If you don't love a person, amen, don't go up to them telling them that you love them. Just say, God bless you. Praying for you. You pray for me. It's best to do it that way. Coming up to folks talking about you love them and you know you don't. Just wait till you get there. Wait till God, amen, deliver you and put it in your heart. Then you can say it with a pure heart. Otherwise, leave it alone. What's the next one, preacher? And hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood. Folks killing folks. I'm going to go in the spiritual. A lot of folks are killing folks with their tongue. Don't know nothing about nothing, but be around here killing folks, talking about stuff that we don't know nothing about, hmm? assuming things that we don't know nothing about. Hmm? Well, you know what she looked like. You know he looked like. You understand what I'm saying? You know, assuming things. Amen. Killing folks. Innocent folks. Come on, you don't even know, amen, amen, praise God, the first letter in their name, but you're killing them. God don't want that. Hmm? What you don't know, amen, praise God, keep your mouth shut. Amen. Amen. What else, preacher? A heart that devises wicked imagination. Same thing. Just finished talking about it. Amen. We sitting around, amen, praise God, like I say, imagining things. Well, you know, they look like, they look like they ain't going to make it. They look like they ain't getting along. Huh? Come on. We just sitting around just imagining things on people. That's not true. God don't want us to do that. Amen. Some, of, some folks just nosy. Huh? Some folks, amen, especially when they don't like you, you know, they, 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 they mess up everything. Just start just imagining. Huh? Glory be to God. God don't want us to do that. He said he hated it. Come on. And we got to get rid of it. What else, preacher? Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Don't you let me hear about nobody, amen, praise God, uh, 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 ain't getting along. Here we go. Did you hear about it? No, I ain't hear nothing. Well, good, let me tell you. Come on. Every time we hear about something bad, we run it. We want to know about it. Come on. And as soon as we hear amen and know about it, amen, praise God, then when we come to church, we can't even get in service. We load it down with that mess. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, we load it down. Why? Because we've been in everybody else's business. Take care of your own business. 
Come on. 24 hours a day, you ain't got time to fool with me. Take care of your own household and leave mine alone. That's why folks don't have folks over their house. I ain't got no help. Right. That's why folks don't have folks over their house. Right. Hmm? Soon as you come in, And then you get on that phone. Girl, I went over there this guy's house. Girl, I'm telling you. Uh, honey, <laughs> I looked under the couch. I didn't see nothing but dust. You understand what I'm saying? That's why people have closed their doors. You got no help there. Because some of them jokers, when they come, you you hate you ever. Ever. Open your door. Because they come for no good. So you got to even be careful in that area. You ain't, you ain't being mean. You're just being careful. Amen. What else, preacher? And then I'm through. A false witness that speaketh lies. Uh huh. We got on that one. And he that soweth discord among brothers. Close the book. He that soweth discord among the brethren. Now, if I talk to Sister Sue, and you don't know what we're talking about. It must not be your business. Number one. But then here you go running over here to Sister Woods. Girl, let me tell you something. Honey, I got discernment, you know. That's the first thing that lion devil said. I can tell, honey, in my spirit. They was just talking about you. And if you ain't really rooted and grounded in God, they said, for real, girl? Yeah. They sure were. And I bet they were talking about somebody else. You kid. Yeah. And so now if you ain't really rooted and grounded, you're going to come to church the next week and you, you're going to be sure enough angry. You really, Sister Sue might want to speak to you, but you <laughs> sowing seed discord. And see that old jealous spirit to make you do that too. Yeah. Hmm? She talking to her, she won't talk to me. Pastor, he 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 taking up time. He takes show taking up a lot of time with her. Won't even shake my hand. So I'm going to get with that sister. I'm going I'm to talk to her. Sister, come in. What was Pastor saying? I'm going to go, I'm gonna go tell Sister Barbara. Uh-huh. I'm going to But sister, you won't be a number of encouraging me. No, no, I can feel it in the spirit. <laughs> so uh, the seed of discord. God said it's abomination. Hmm? God hated. God don't want us sowing the seed of discord. Come on. Amen. If you friend with her, amen, praise God. I'm not supposed to be no hater. Amen. I'm not supposed to go all over the church and try to get her against her and get him against him. Come on. God says it's abomination. Come on here. God wants us to get all this mess out of us so the church can roll on. So we can see the manifestation of the Holy Ghost come back through here one more time. We talk about Mother Butler. We talk about Bishop Butler. Amen. What we seen back then. But I came to tell you he's the same God. He said I changed now. 
He's just waiting on us. I'm waiting on God. No, sugar. He ain't with nowhere. He waiting on us to get all this stuff out of us. Then we can see the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Move one more time. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on that Russian mighty wind. Like it was in the book of Acts. Hey Amen, he's the same God. So when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they was all in one place, all in one accord. Then suddenly, my God, that's quick. There came a sound from heaven as a Russian mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they begin to speak. My God, how many know we got to speak? In other tongues, as the Spirit of God gave utterance. Stand to your feet. God is good. Get all them things that God hate out. So God can refresh us again. Come on. God can touch us again. In the name of Jesus. Let us not sit around. Trying to judge one another. Let's get us right. Let's work on us. Amen. I said let's work on us. And when we work on us. That's a job. I said, that's a job. Yes, it is. Amen. I tell the Lord, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It ain't my mother. It ain't my brother. But it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Hallelujah. I'm going to move by the Spirit of God. God been dealing with me concerning our babies. I want all my babies to come on up here because the Lord showed me the devil got a spirit. It's already out. But the Lord let me see he's going to send it in a different and stronger way than what he have been sending. But we want to pray and plead the blood of Jesus continually.